Hello, VC family. This is Sophie Capmarcin, the director of academics. And I want to show you a quick tutorial on how to use uh, Google Translate um, in the Google as a Google Chrome extension. So the first thing you want to do is actually you want to go into Google Chrome. So this is Google Chrome, if you're not familiar with it. So that's what you need to um, you need to go in the Google Chrome website. So once since you are in Google Chrome, you need to log in. So I'm I'm already logged in, but I'm going to show you how um, you know you log in. So um, here you're going to have a sign in box. I'm going to go there, and then this is me right here. I'm going to enter my password. Okay, here you go. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the extension. So I'm going to put Chrome, Chrome, Google Translate. Okay, and here it is. It's like the first one. So this is the extension. It's called Google Translate. It's got a little blue, you know, logo right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Add to Chrome. And you're going to see here is a spot where you have all of your extensions. So it's going to go up here as soon as, as soon as I click on it. So here you go. I'm going to click Add Extension. And here you go. The Google Translate has been added to Chrome. So now I have the extension. That means I can go to any website in a foreign language and it's going to translate it back into English by default. You can change the setting if, if you want it into a different language. So um, just to show you, I am going to go on a French website for, um, for, for kids. So for example, I'm going to go into TV5 Monde Jeunesse. Okay. So here is a website. I'm going to click on it. OK, so you can see the website is in French, you know. I don't have too much going on, but um, I kind of want to understand and make sure I understand all of this rubrics on top. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the extension logo, and I'm going to click on Translate this page. And here you go. Everything turns back into English. So I'm going to click into, I want to learn something. So I'm going to click into learn. Okay. So here I'm going to have, I'm going to understand, uh, I don't really know what's going on here. So I want to uh, go to back to the Google Translate extension and click on Translate to Stage. Okay. So uh, now I know. So if I'm curious and playful, this, this section is for me. I can't do some quizzes. OK, so now I kind of understand how this is probably organized. I can look. There is a video on Leonardo da Vinci, so I'm going to watch it. OK, so uh, hmm, I'm not sure what this means. Uh, let me click on the Google Translate here. I'm going to have the translation of what it means. After that, I'm going to have the videos. You can see here, it tells me that the videos are available with French subtitles. And I am going to click on the first one. Here you go. It's a first video is seven minutes and 38 seconds. So I'm going to stop here. Just wanted to show you how useful it can be to uh, have the uh, Google Translate extension if you're navigating some French websites, especially. Um, be careful, though. It is a Google Translate translation. So this is far from being perfect, but it will give you a very good idea of what's going on um, on the page. Do not use it as a translation because it, need, it is not um, always perfect. So I hope it helps, and I hope you, can, uh, you will find it useful to use Google Translate. Okay.